Hello, I am Samuel Chin Tian, Jun from Zhenhua Primary School, Singapore. My team ID is SG1519. This is my first time competing in the RoboCup Cold Space Challenge First Steps Under 12 category. I am excited that I have qualified as one of the finalists for the RoboCup Cold Space Challenge 2021. The RoboCup Cold Space Challenge consists of a virtual simulated world similar to a warped garden. In my Cold Space Rescue First Steps Under 12 category, my robot, when programmed, will need to move around and interact with the environment it is in. The robot will need to find colorful objects, avoid obstacles, and deposit the objects in the two collection boxes in the preliminary challenge. There was a trap in the center of the map that can cause my robot to lose its objects if my robot touches the blue part of the trap. Objects are placed at random and there are some areas on the world that denote that I get double points for my objects collected. The robot can only carry a maximum of six objects and there is a time limit of five minutes. At the end of several runs, my robot managed to obtain a high score of 1090 points, enabling it to qualify for the finals. The preliminary challenge was to collect as many colourful objects as possible, deposit them while avoiding the trap within the time limit of 5 minutes. To do this, my general approach to the problem was to create a robot AI program that allows my robot to first identify and pick up objects, then to deposit them and finally identify and avoid the trap. Once I have this general design, I can add various additional smarts depending on the robot's previous run. To begin, I programmed my robot to move forward and turn left or right when it meets an obstacle. Then, I programmed my robot to detect red, cyan and black objects and pick those up when it's, necess when it's carrying less than 5 objects. Then, I programmed my robot to deposit objects when it is carrying 1 to 6 objects. Finally, I programmed my robot to avoid traps when it is close to a trap by detecting the yellow region of the trap and doing a slow turn to make sure it does not touch the blue region when it turns. First, to allow my robot to identify the different colored objects, I had to enable the robot's color sensors to detect red, cyan, and black on both the left and the right color sensors. To enable my robot to pick up the objects, I programmed it to only pick up objects when it was carrying five or less objects. Next, to make sure my robot avoids traps, I programmed it to do a slow turn when it detects the yellow region surrounding the trap. To do this, I programmed my robot to slow down its wheel speed and turn when it detects yellow in its color sensors. In the first few runs, my robot would meet obstacles and get stuck even though I had programmed it to reverse when it meets obstacles. I later found out that I had put the wrong wheel speed for that program. After realizing my mistake, I managed to fix the wheel speed from that program and my robot no longer got stuck when it met obstacles. At the end of several runs, I am happy that my robot managed to obtain a score of over a thousand points to qualify for the finals. However, if I had a chance to do the same challenge again, I would like to be able to program my robot such that it would be able to collect sets of two red, two cyan, and two black objects in order to capitalize on gaining bonus points during the challenge. I hope to be able to make use of this strategy during the finals. 
Joining the RoboCup Coast Base Rescue Challenge has been a most interesting and challenging experience for me. During the Coast Base Challenge, I realized that I had to rely on my own ability as I realized that my friends and robotics teacher were not around to help me. Using Coast Base Robot has taught me that there's more than a one way to solve a problem. I had to learn to program my robot differently in order to find the right solution. Initially, my robot's turning was not working well, but I managed to reprogram it to reverse instead of turn, and it became a better solution than before. I was relieved that I managed to solve the problem. Through the RoboCup Singapore Open 2021 Coast Space Challenge, I learned that I should never give up and that we should always strive to be the best that we can be. After my first run, I wanted to submit my final score as 795 points as I thought that that was the highest score my robot could obtain. However, I remembered my school motto and decided to continue trying my best to obtain a higher score and I managed to get an even higher score of 1090. I'm glad I did not stop there. To my other Coast Base game players, never give up and always make sure you strive for your best. Thank you for listening and I hope to do better in the finals. Thank you.